Mid-County Madness is the rivalry football game between Port Natchez Groves and Nederland. I think everyone in Southeast Texas knows about. It's the longest running rivalry in our area, dating back to 1925, having played their 90th edition just last week. Now, I often have said it's such a big game for both teams, for both communities, that a trophy to the winner just isn't necessary. I've said that because over my 15 years of covering the madness, I've asked to present a trophy, but have been turned down. I've never had a good enough reason, not like this. In honor of the late coach Bum Phillips, Mid-County Madness will now include the Bum Phillips Bowl. The game played on Friday nights will be in honor of the legendary Southeast Texas coach with a trophy, something similar to this rendering, awarded to the winning team from here on out starting next year. Phillips, of course, coached on both sides of Mid-County Madness, first at Nederland in the late 40s and early 50s, and then at PNG in 1963 and 64. Port Arthur News sports editor Bob West helped make the Bum Phillips Bowl become a reality. I'll let Bob explain how that happened. Mike, I'm almost embarrassed to say it's not my idea because I've known Bum since 1969. But actually, the idea came from a young lady named Don Fournier at Nature's Federal Credit Union. And I said, we've got to do this. Immediately jumped on it. Started with the two ADs at the two schools, uh, Brandon Faircloth and Larry Newman. They, they immediately saw what the value of this was. Talked to Bum's widow, Debbie. Talked to Wade Phillips, his son. Everybody was just blown away with the idea. And, and I'd want to point out this is in no way trying to take away from Mid-County Madness. That, that's a feeling. It goes on year-round. It's the build-up to the game. We're just trying to promote the game itself as the Bum Phillips Bowl and present a trophy with a cowboy hat over a football. Of course, the, the bottom line to this is we want kids 10, 20, 30 years from now to have a reason to know who Bum Phillips was. And this man deserves to be remembered in Southeast Texas forever. 